Overshadowed by the star-studded allure of Bollywood blockbusters are films and filmmakers that dare to break away from the norm time and time again, offering compelling story with abrasive honesty. Here's to those overlooked, underappreciated masterpieces. Let's dive in. Number 11, Love from 2015. A refreshing, honest portrayal of same-sex relationships in a country where homosexuality has long been criminalized. Set against Mumbai's urban backdrop, writer-director Sudanshu Saria explores love, friendship, and intimacy between two men navigating complex emotions and cultural confines of homosexuality. Lead actors Shiv Pandit and Dhruv Ganesh deliver raw, evocative performances in this understated but powerful debut by Saria. Number 10, Rocket Singh, Salesman of the Year from 2009. Two years after his debut, Bollywood star kid Runbear Kapoor played a struggling salesman, a part few would dare to take up early on in their careers, in a film equally unconventional, one that slipped off the radar soon after release. Kapoor is effortless as Harpreet Singh, his dilemmas feel real, and his moral compass serves as a silent protagonist. The sobering narrative explores corporate greed while shining light on the human side of the business world. Director Shamit Amin and writer Jaideep Sani give us a nuanced story that is both entertaining and thought-provoking. Moving into the magical world of Dunnock, our number nine pick from 2015. Enchanting, whimsical, and profoundly fulfilling, Dunnock feels straight out of a children's novel. It captures the essence of hope and innocence through the journey of two young siblings across the vibrant landscapes of Rajasthan. Amidst the scorching deserts and colorful culture, their unwavering belief in the power of miracles becomes the central theme. The child actors are remarkably authentic, and the stunning cinematography serves as a metaphorical rainbow, the Dunnock in the story. Number eight, once again from 2018. A beautiful, sensitive film about midlife romance once again touches an emotive chord with its awkward silences. So much is left unsaid, and that's part of the allure, restrained and compelling to the core. A celebration of meaningful storytelling, this Netflix original may lack expanse, but its journey is inward. Class act by the two lead protagonists, Neeraj Kabi and Shifali Shah. Number seven, A Billion Color Story from 2016. This humanistic piece delves into the complexities of religious identity and cultural unity in modern day India. Through the innocent hurry, a young boy born to a Hindu mother and a Muslim father, the narrative explores how love and understanding can transcend deep-rooted prejudices. The film is set in India, but its core message of religious tolerance is timely and universal. Number six, Superman of Malagao from 2012. This quirky documentary takes us to a quaint town of Malagao. Fraught with communal tension, its locals seek refuge in the fantastical world of movies as they strive to make their own low-budget Superman film. Director Faiza Ahmed Khan balances humor with poignant moments as she provides an intimate look at self-taught filmmaker Shaikh Nasser and his dedicated crew who work magic with meager resources. The documentary brilliantly captures the town's eccentric charm, the unbreakable human spirit, and the universal love of cinema. Number five, Filmistan from 2012. A heartwarming friendship brews when Sunny, a wannabe actor from India, and Aftab, a Pakistani who pirates Hindi movies for a living, are brought together by circumstances. The two form a deep bond over their shared love for Bollywood. Amid long-standing animosity and conflict between the two warring nations, Filmistan is a gentle nudge to people on both sides of the border to reconcile. First-time director Nidin Kakat masterfully uses humor and pathos, making geopolitical issues personal and relatable. Shara Pashmi's compelling performance as Sunny effectively underlines that art has the power to unite even amid conflict. And we're moving on. Now, Bollywood often falls short in the comedy genre, but this delightful satire on land grabbing nails it. Our number four pick, Kosla Kagosla from 2006. A story of a family struggle to reclaim a plot of land unfairly taken from them. 
With a script rich in wit and situational humor and a stellar ensemble cast, the film impeccably captures the nuances of middle-class life. Master storyteller Debakar Banerjee weaves a tale, all humor in heart. Number three, Sonchiria from 2019. Abhishek Shabe's period piece thriller is a class act. It's set in 1970s Chambal and tells the tale of dacoits. It's pretty close to the slow burn Western genre. We get a rooted close up into the heartlands of India. The rugged and gritty portrayal sits excellently with the theme of psychological salvation and redemption. Honor Among Thieves is brilliantly portrayed as we find out that people aren't what they seem to be on the surface. Thugs can have morals and upstanding men can be devils in disguise. The fight scenes, action sequences, and portrait shots are breathtaking. But despite all the gunfights, this movie is rooted not in crime, but in its consequence. Self-accountability can be the most daunting of all tasks. To commit to violence while not being swallowed by your inner demons is not for the faint of heart. Number two, Aligarh from 2015. Aligarh is a significant cinematic endeavor that calls for empathy over judgment. It's based on the real life story of Dr. Srinivas Ramchandra Siris, a professor ostracized for his sexual orientation. Manoj Bajpai is evocative as Siris, embodying the loneliness and despair of a man caught in the crosshairs of social prejudice. Rajkumar Rao, as a sympathetic journalist, is equally compelling. The film navigates complex themes of privacy, identity, and institutionalized discrimination with grace and nuance. Its quiet intensity magnifies the emotional weight of a life under scrutiny. And we've arrived, Tidli from 2014. This movie is a bleak, unsparing tale from Delhi's crime-ridden underbelly of a dysfunctional family. Ensnared in petty crime and poverty, the three brothers and a father make a living carjacking. Youngest sibling Tidli, brilliantly played by debutante Shashark Arora, however, wants to break free. Life takes a turn when an arranged marriage pairs him with a fierce Milu, another spectacular debut by Shivani Raghuvanshi, and together they plot an escape. First-time director Kanu Bell skillfully brings out the nuances of the city. His characters are suffused with a realism seldom achieved in Hindi cinema. Penned by Sharad Kataria, who also wrote and directed Damlaga K. Haisha and Beho himself, Fitli is a cinematic triumph in its telling of a story richly layered and ultimately deeply scarring. There we are. What are your favorite films on this list? What did we miss? Keep the conversation going in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Flickside for more great film content.